Hi friends, I'm Bobber. I am one of the Young Adult Service Assistants at the Climacomb Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own dragon egg. So for this craft all you need is a styrofoam egg and tacks. So for this I'm going to be using basic um, tacks, basic goat tacks as you can see. And if you would like you can color yours, you can spray paint yours for this um just let them dry first so you don't ruin your hands so to start this you'll take one tack and you'll put it at the bottom of your egg like so like this and you'll start there so you want to start at the bottom and we're going to spiral around towards the top where we'll put in the final piece so um as you're doing this do know it does take a lot of it will take some time to get it going, but you want to make sure it's pushed in there. And let's see if I can get this right. Attach it. So as you're doing it, they're going to overlap like this. And this is so it doesn't fall out. So all of them will be overlapped besides the one at the very top. So the one at the very top, we're going to actually use some sort of glue to hold it in. Oh, that one popped out. So we're going to use glue to hold the one at the top in just because it has nothing sitting on top of it since it will be the very last piece. So as you're putting yours in, you'll start, see the one I started in the middle, you will spiral around that one. And you'll keep doing this for the whole entire craft till you get to the very top. Um, so it's not going to be perfect, but this is just our starting point of it. So it's not going to be perfect, but it will be easier as you go. So you'll just keep inserting them around. They'll keep overlapping. Um, if you get it stuck, like I have that one right there stuck, um, you can just use something flat to prop it in there and it pops out pretty easily and you can reattach it. So you don't want to do that too much otherwise the styrofoam will become unusable and you have to get a brand new styrofoam egg to finish your craft. So we're going to keep adding our thumbtacks and it takes about 151 to do a whole egg. So there should be in the craft bag there should be gold tacks and there should be silver silver tacks so you can use all gold or all silver or do a mix, mix and match and do your very own design and let them be a s reflection of who you are so we're going to keep doing this so we get to the bottom so you can see like we have the the bottom of the egg almost fully covered so as you're doing this you want to make sure that none of the white of the styrofoam is showing just so it looks all nice and clean at the very end um, even if there's a little bit of styrofoam showing um, there's no problem with that you can color the egg beforehand of the color of the tacks you want to use so if there is a little bit of white showing It'll blend in perfectly with the tacks that are on there. So we're going to keep adding these in until we get about a good amount in here. So as you can see, it doesn't look that well yet, but we will get there. So we're going to keep we're going to keep doing this. So you can pause it here to continue because I will show you what to do at the very end. All right, so now that our egg is almost completed, I have this nice, beautiful glow to it right now. We still have a little bit more to go. So we're gonna fill in this, the rest of the white, just so everyone can see how 
we're officially going to end it. So if you don't end at the very tippity top, it is perfectly fine. Um, you just want to make sure that that piece, that very last piece, is the only one you will have to glue down. So we're almost there. Like, see, we're almost, we have a little bit more to go. Alright, two more. Hopefully, I don't have to add one more. I might have to add one more. Right, so add one more. All right. So as you can see, I didn't fully push it in yet because that's this is the very last one. Yep, you can see right there. It's the very last one. So you're gonna want to glue that part in somehow. So I have thumbtack little glue tacks that I can use and I'm going to insert the tack through it so that way when it's on the inside of the egg it is perfectly still so I wrote mine into this little tiny ball that you can see at the end of my tack, and I'm, we're going to insert it into this last white part. So all that is going to do is make sure it stays completely in place. In place, if it, when you have it, and as you can see, you now have your very own beautiful dragon egg. So you can do this with any kind of tacks like these. And if you have a bigger egg, you can also do this with um, spoons and you can spray paint it and make even a bigger egg. So you can go and show off to your friends that you have your very own dragon egg and you can wait for it to hatch into your very own dragon.